Hey everyone, here's a look at our photo film transitions. Super excited to showcase this new transitions pack of over 35 film frame collage transitions that come as both an easy to edit After Effects template and motion graphic templates for Premiere Pro. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use these transitions in Premiere Pro first. And if you wanna check out the After Effects tutorial and how to customize these transitions in just a few clicks, you can check that out. For now, let's drop in. When you download and zip the pack, it's gonna come with four folders. You're gonna get the folder number one is your After Effects project template. Number two are your photo film frames and your placeholder images and additional 35 millimeter photo film frames that we use to animate these transitions. And then your Mogerts or your motion graphics templates for Premiere Pro. And as you can see, they're clearly labeled with two frames, three frames, or four frame transitions. And then you're gonna get a fourth folder of over 50 different camera sound effects that you can use to add sound design to these transitions. So let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro. First, to import these, you're going to want to simply click on your window and click on Essential Graphics. That will pop it up on the side over here. And then all you wanna do is simply select all of your Mogurt files in the folder, and you can just click and drag them into your Essential Graphics panel right there. I've already done that. I'll go ahead and expand this so it's easier to see. Um, and then all of your transitions will be right here in Premiere Pro. Let's go ahead and scale that down a bit. And first things first, all you wanna do is simply click and drag one into your timeline. So let's go ahead and grab 28, drag it on top of the cut of two clips below it. So you have four frames. And when you click on the file in the timeline, it's gonna pop up the edit section in the Essential Graphics panel. And this is where you can easily customize the media placeholders, reposition them, change the scale, change the rotation of both the images and the frames themselves. So you have complete and total custom control of where you wanna place these and how large you want the images to be. So to customize them, you can use video clips or still images, it works with both, so first I have uh, a few clips from my trailer right here. And what I'm gonna do is simply snap a few screen grabs of this video clip. So I'll go right here and snap an image right here using the little camera icon. And then you wanna click import into project. Have that checked and go okay. And there you go. It will pop up here in your media browser bin. I'm gonna scroll through again to another point, click it again, click okay, do it a third time and a fourth time so that we have four different images for the four different placeholders that are in the transition. Now, I will simply just click and drag this image into that image one media placeholder and it will automatically populate into the transition. Do that for each one. And then above it, you're gonna see frame one. This is where you can go ahead and scale them down if you want, or reposition them, or change the rotation. Whatever you wanna do, we've given you complete control to customize these within the frame to exactly how you want them to be. And then for the image customization, again, you have scale, position, and rotation capabilities for the image itself. So you can scale that up reposition it. I want it to be closer in on his face. There we go. I think that looks good. So this is how every single motion graphics template is built. You have all these functionalities across every one of these motion graphics templates. And so let's go ahead and scale down frame two a little bit, reposition it to the right. I like frame three where I think that's nice. And then for frame four, let's go ahead and just move that down a little bit over to the side, scale it down and move the image a little bit. Cool, that looks good. From there, I'm just gonna go ahead and click the render. There you go. And in its most basic form, that's exactly how it worked. Each frame pops up slightly different to give you a nice snappy transition. And then from here, you can go ahead and add whatever sound effects you would like. I believe we use this digital camera kind of burst mode sound effect for the trailer. So I'm just going to do something like this. There's four snaps, so I'll just delete it after that. Sweet. 
at its most basic form, that's exactly how quick and easy it is to use these transitions. And then really quick, if you wanna add a video clip into here instead of an image, you can certainly do so. Let's go ahead and say for this uh, frame three right here, we wanna swap out this image for a video clip, right? So you're gonna click on this little hamburger icon, open in timeline, and this will open up a new timeline sequence. And here's the image we placed in there. I'm gonna click back out to the main composition and I wanna copy and paste this video clip into that timeline. You can edit the in and out points as you want. This is showing you the duration of this transition. So this is only about two seconds long. So I'm gonna pull the two seconds that I want of this video clip. I'll click it back out into the transition. Give it a second to load. Make sure that it is in the frame where I want it to be. That looks good. Render again. Love that. So just super cool and dynamic. Really happy with how these turned out and looking forward to seeing how you guys use these in your own edits. So have fun with this. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing and joining the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.